Out beyond the eight planets that you already know There are many more solar systems to explore And we should go Different stars that have their own planets And their own solar systems Would you like to go with me? And see if we can meet some? I'm Exoplanet HD 100546B a super Jupiter gas giant planet that is one of the largest exoplanets you'll meet. I orbit a star with a circumstellar disk made up of gases, dust, and debris. The material in these disks is what forms gas giant planets just like me. They call me the Whiplash Planet, HR5183B. A super Jupiter three times the size of him. I have an eccentric 74-year egg-shaped orbit, you see. I slingshot around my star, speeding up as I get closer and slowing down as I retreat. I'm a bit of a wrecking ball because I wreak havoc on any regular orbiting planets I meet. Let's go meet an exoplanet. They orbit other stars. Some are very similar, some very different from ours. Strange and mystical worlds with wonders beyond imagination. Let's go find some exoplanets and see if we can meet them. We may look like Earth and the Sun, but look closer and you will see. With my yellow main sequence star, Kepler 452, I'm Kepler 452B. I'm in the habitable zone of my star and could have liquid water on me. Which means, because I'm so similar to Earth, that there could be life on me. OGLE 2005 BLG 390LB. My nickname is Hoth, like the ice world in Star Wars. I'm icy and rocky. I'm so cold that even my atmospheric gases freeze, adding to my snowy surface. I'm too cold for life to survive on me, so I orbit my cool red dwarf star quietly in the constellation Scorpius. 1.8 days to orbit my star, a hot Jupiter gas giant, that's me. One side always day, one side always night. I'm a tightly locked planet named Wasp76B. My hot temperatures on my day side are so extreme that they vaporize iron in my atmosphere. But when the vapor reaches my night side, it cools and rains fiery iron down on this sphere. Let's go meet an exoplanet. They orbit other stars. Some are very similar, some very different from ours. Strange and mystical worlds with wonders beyond imagination. Let's go find some exoplanets and see if we can meet them. I defy the laws of physics with my burning ice! I'm Gleesa 436b. I have a scorching hot surface because I'm 15 times closer to my sun than Mercury. Oddly, my surface is mostly ice, but it's on fire! How could that be? My gravity is so strong that it compresses any water vapor back into ice on me. I'm hot, 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 7,800 degrees, and ultra hot Jupiter KMT9B. I'm so close to my star that my surface sizzles and can be even hotter than some stars can be. I'm in a tightly locked 36-hour polar orbit around my star, which looks like I'm orbiting vertically. And my vast spinning star is boiling away my atmosphere by blasting me with heat and radiation constantly. Let's go meet an exoplanet. They orbit other stars. Some are very similar, some very different from ours. Strange and mystical worlds with wonders beyond imagination. Let's go find some exoplanets and see if we can meet them. Similar to Earth in age and size, I'm Gliese 1132b. So close to my star that it ripped and stole my atmosphere away from me. During my 1.6-day orbit, my star pulls and stretches me and causes violent volcanic activity. But I'm clever, and I'm using the gases from the volcanoes to build a brand new atmosphere around me. One of the largest known exoplanets, a super Jupiter, I'm GQ BB. I'm young and have a circumplanetary disk all around me. Also known as a moon-forming disk, this is exciting to see. 
Because this is where the birth of new moons happens. They'll form and then orbit me. The T-O-I-1-7-8 system. We move at almost perfect harmony. The outer five of our six planets exist in a resonance of 18 to 9 to 6 to 4 to 3. This means we orbit our orange star and line up with each other very regularly. For every 18 orbits I have... I have nine. I have six. I have four. I have three. Now you've met some exoplanets. They orbit other stars. In their very own solar systems far outside of ours. Strange and mystical worlds with wonders beyond imagination. Keep looking at the stars and maybe you'll discover one.